and set in order for me since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come that them show unto them fear ye not neither be afraid have not I told thee from that time and have declared it ye are even my witnesses is there a God beside me yea there is no God I know not any God says in verse 6 I am the first and I am the last amen if that's the case and it is the case because it is forever settled in heaven Amen. And he says, I have that honor of being the first and the last. And if Jesus is just the son, amen, what business does he have coming along in Revelation 1 and 8 saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Are there two first and last? There's not but one, and his name is Jesus Christ. Here on this the Lord our God is one Lord. Somebody shout it, our God is one. Praise God. Our God is one. Yes. Jesus said in John 5, 43, I've come in my Father's name. What name did he come in? You're quiet. I appreciate you listening. John 10, 30, he said, I and my Father are one. Not two, not three. One. Amen. In the book of St. John, chapter 14, beginning verse 8. Philip coming to the Lord one day and said, Lord, show us a father, and it sufficeth us. That means we be satisfied. Jesus took him and said, Philip, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how say thou then, show us a father? There's not but one God, and his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. John 21. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's the revelation. Word was God. Same word, word in verse 14 became fast. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. If the word was God, and the same word, word became fast. That's talking about Jesus Christ. Amen. He is God. 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 Many years ago, I was ordered into a C-130 aircraft. And on this C-130 aircraft were some parachutes. And we airlifted, and we was going through the skies at night. And about six hours later, at about seven o'clock in the morning, the doors were opened. Amen. And yours truly, because he was allergic to the Air Force, donned that parachute and jumped out of that aircraft. Into the island of Puerto Rico. Yeah, somebody had to do it. I was reading afresh in 1 Timothy chapter 3. I'd read the Bible through for the first time in four and a half months. And I was reading through again. Just a few years old in the Lord. And I was reading the first Timothy 3 and got down to verse 16. And after I read verse 16, I began to shout. Because first Timothy 3, 16 reads, Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God, capital G. God was manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Seal of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles. Believe on in the world and receive up in the gold. Who was all proud of those statements? It was Jesus Christ. Yet the scripture said he was God. What are you saying, preacher? He is God. That's not the one God. And his name is Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Let me, let, me, let me put this in here before I forget it. Praise God. Amen. So, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. So I'm going to say praise the Lord. Praise then we're going to be going back to, we're going to be going to John chapter 8 after this. 
First Timothy, First Corinthians chapter 10. Notice tonight, I see here a little and there a little. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Before there was an Acts 2.38, there were other scriptures before Acts 2.38. That's, right. That's what we're covering tonight. Before there was a Pentecost, there was this. Yes. There was a name attached to Pentecost. First right. Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1, more, brethren, I would not that you be ignorant. How that all of our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Right. Now how can that be? He wasn't born yet. You think about it. The only way it could be and is is because He's God. Right. Ooh, I'm slowing down on purpose. Let's look in John chapter 8 verse 24. Jesus is looking at some stiff-necked Jews one day and He said, I said therefore unto you uh, that if you don't believe that I am He, uh, He shall die in your sins. Uh, amen. That's what He said. Uh, Amen. That if you don't believe that I am He, you'll die in your sins. He there is a italicized. Anytime you see an italicized word in Scripture, it was put there by the translators to make a more complete sentence. It's not a part of the original language. If, you, if it doesn't change the meaning of the verse, you can leave it out. Jesus said, if you don't believe that I am, you shall die in your sins. He's speaking to the same Jews. Gets down to verse 56. And he said, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old. And hast thou seen Abraham? Right. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say to you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then oh, picked they up stones and cast at him. But Jesus hid himself. While they were going to cast stones at him. Because they knew. The law like the back of their hands. And they knew that Jesus was going back to the burning bush where God told Moses, you tell them, I am had sent you. Right. And they knew that there was one God. They believed that. They still believe it. But when Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am, they knew he was making himself God. That's why they were going to stone him. But hear me, they missed it. Just like some precious people are missing it today. Amen. He is God. He is the I am. Amen. He is God. I'm so 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 i am so i it's in his early 30s uh -huh. when he's talking to these Jews. How could he be before Abraham who lived thousands of years before him when he ain't been born yet? Uh -huh. Why? Because he's God. Uh -huh. Hosea 6 and 4, the last statement, first statement says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. When you look up the words I am in the Greek and Hebrew dictionary, which is what our, our Bible is translated out of, notice that Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. Right. Means to exist, to be. Oh, my Lord. John 12, 45, Jesus said, somebody said, I want to see God. Catch the scripture. John 12, 45, and he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. When you've seen Jesus Christ, you've seen all the God you're going to see. Matter of fact, going back to 1 Timothy 3.16, he was seen. You can see God. He's a spirit. The only way you're going to see God is when he manifests himself. And he manifests himself through the, through the life and body of Jesus Christ. That's why...
The word manifest means to reveal, to take the lid off, to denote the act of divine revelation. He's trying to take the lid off here tonight for somebody that's hearing this. If you'll just be open and obedient to the word of God. Now, years ago, I used to tie in John 14, 18 with John 14, 26 until I did some study on it. John 14, 18 says, Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I used to tie that in again with the Holy Ghost. Verse, 14, verse 26 of John 14. Until I looked up the word comfortless in the Greek dictionary. And the word comfortless means, it's where we get our word orphan from. Catch it. It means parentless, fatherless. If Jesus is just a son, how can he leave somebody parentless or fatherless if he's not God? It always gets quiet right there because that's revelation. If he's just the son, how can he leave somebody fatherless if he's not the father? What's this, what's this got to do, preacher, with Acts 4 and 12? Jesus said, we're to be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. It was more than just happened on the day of Pentecost. It was a name attached, amen, to that experience. Right. Amen. Amen. Before I go any further, let me read 1 Corinthians 8 and 6. I told you I always get excited and get ahead of myself. But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in Him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by Him. Philippians 2, 5, I, I, I've seen this many years ago. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Catch this. Who being in the form of God. Uh, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Why do you think it not robbery to be equal with God? Because if all the fullness dwells in you, there ain't nothing wrong. You got it all. Hey, somebody, oh, somebody say, I want to see God. Second Corinthians 4, 3. If our, if our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. Verse 4. In whom the God of this world, small g, the devil, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. That's the light of this course, gospel of Christ. Here it is. Who is the image of God should shine unto them. Jesus is God. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The scripture is full of, of scriptures, of hundreds of them, uh, proving that Jesus is God. Amen. I love this. I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the name. Just hang on. I know, I know where I'm going. I'm not confused. Praise the Lord. Right. Here a little, there a little. Amen. Amen. I love this. <laughs> Luke 10, 18. Yes. Jesus said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. How can that be? You weren't born yet. If you seen the enemy, the devil, get booted out of heaven, how could you see that, Jesus? You weren't born. The only way it can be is because for the umpteenth time, 